the acts of st paul and thecla the martyrdom of the holy and glorious first martyr and apostle thecla chapter nine thecla thrown naked to the wild beasts but they all refuse to attack her she baptizes herself in a pit of water other wild beasts refuse to injure her tied to wild bulls miraculously saved released entertained by tryphena then thecla was taken out of the hand of tryphena stripped naked had a girdle put on and thrown into the place appointed for fighting with wild beasts and the lions and the bears were let loose upon her but a she-lion which was of all the most fierce ran to thecla and fell down at her feet upon which the multitude of women shouted aloud then a she-bear ran fiercely towards her but the she-lion met the bear and tore it in pieces again a he-lion who had been wanted of our men and which belonged to alexander ran towards her but the she-lion encountered the he-lion and they killed each other then the women were under a greater concern because the she-lion which had helped thecla was dead afterwards they brought out many other wild beasts but thecla stood with her hands stretched toward heaven and prayed and when she had done praying she turned about and saw a pit of water and said now it is a proper time for me to be baptized accordingly she threw herself into the water and said in thy name o my lord jesus christ i am this last day baptized the women and the people seeing this cried out and said do not throw yourself into the water and the governor himself cried out to think that the fish sea calves were like to devour so much beauty notwithstanding all this thecla threw herself into the water in the name of our lord jesus christ but the fish sea calves when they saw the lightning and fire were killed and swam dead upon the surface of the water and a cloud of fire surrounded thecla so that as the beasts could not come near her so the people could not see her nakedness yet they turned other wild beasts upon her upon which they made a very mournful outcry and some of them scattered spikenard and others cassia and others amomus a sort of spikenard or the herb of jerusalem or ladies rose others ointment so that the quantity of ointment was large in proportion to the number of people and upon this all the beasts lay as though they had been fast asleep and did not touch thecla whereupon alexander said to the governor i have some very terrible bulls let us bind her to them to which the governor with concern replied you may do what you think fit then they put a cord around thecla's waist which bound also her feet and with it tied her to the bulls to whose privy parts they applied red-hot irons that so they being the more tormented might more violently drag thecla about till they had killed her the bulls accordingly tore about making a hideous noise but the flame which was about thecla burnt off the cords which were fastened to the members of the bulls and she stood in the middle of the stage as unconcerned as if she had not been bound but in the meantime tryphena who sat upon one of the benches fainted away and died upon which the whole city was under a very great concern and alexander himself was afraid and desired the governor saying i entreat you take compassion on me and the city and release this woman who has fought with the beasts lest both you and i and the whole city be destroyed for if caesar should have any account of what has passed now he will certainly immediately destroy the city because tryphena a person of royal extract and a relation of his is dead upon her seat upon this the governor called thecla from among the beasts to him and said to her who art thou and what are thy circumstances that not one of the beasts will touch thee thecla replied to him i am a servant of the living god and as to my state i am a believer on jesus christ his son in whom god is well pleased and for that reason none of the beasts could touch me he alone is the way to eternal salvation and the foundation of eternal life he is a refuge to those who are in distress a support to the afflicted hope and defence to those who are hopeless and in a word all those who do not believe on him shall not live but suffer eternal death when the governor heard these things he ordered her clothes to be brought and said to her put on your clothes thecla replied may that god who clothed me when i was naked among the beasts in the day of judgment clothe your soul with the robe of salvation then she took her clothes and put them on and the governor immediately published an order in these words i release you thecla the servant of god upon which the women cried out together with a loud voice and with one accord gave praise unto god and said 
There is but one God, who is the God of Thecla, the one God who hath delivered Thecla. So loud were their voices that the whole city seemed to be shaken, and Tryphena herself heard the glad tidings, and arose again, and ran with the multitude to meet Thecla, and embracing her said, Now I believe there shall be a resurrection of the dead. Now I am persuaded that my daughter is alive. Come therefore home with me, my daughter Thecla, and I will make all over that I have to you. So Thecla went with Tryphena, and was entertained there a few days, teaching her the word of the Lord, whereby many young women were converted. And there was great joy in the family of Tryphena. But Thecla longed to see Paul, and inquired and sent everywhere to find him. And when at length she was informed that he was at Myra in Lycia, she took with her many young men and women, and putting on a girdle and dressing herself in the habit of a man, she went to him to Myra in Lycia, and there found Paul preaching the word of God, and she stood by him among the throng. 